And to kind of sum up this video and to answer the question, how has the iPhone 7 held up in the later part of 2020 and whether it's still worth picking up? And I can tell you, without a doubt, if you're in the market, you have like $100 to spend, maybe $120 to spend, maybe getting an iPhone 7 is a decent way to go. You know, I don't think it's a horrible device. iOS 14 has actually changed my opinion on this a lot. I personally have updated a lot of phones throughout my life and almost every single time I updated them, I've always ran into issues on the iPhone 7. This time around on all my iPhone 7s, including the 7 Plus, I didn't run into any issues, which was really surprising. So maybe Apple changed something in their back end that made it so iPhone 7s are loved again. I don't know. But that was something that was really, really interesting to me. But I think as you know, a daily phone, if you're somebody who doesn't really require too many resources, if you're just kind of using a phone just to text and call people and you're not really using Snapchat or going through and like using your phone to its full capacity, then I think an iPhone 7 is not a bad way to go. You know, it's as a good screen, you know, Apple's still selling pretty much the same screen, so it's not really a problem there. You have a pretty good build quality. If you drop it, it's probably not going to break, but parts that fix this phone aren't really that expensive. It has a decent camera too, which is really good. You have IP certification, so a little bit of rugged proof there. I think the main problems with this phone are probably with the reliability. Maybe if there's still some issues there, if it, you know, factory resets on you or something, that's an issue. Also the battery life, you know, it's not really that good. It, like I said, depending on your use, it may get you through a day. It may not. For me, it will probably wouldn't, but doesn't mean it will happen to you. So that's another really important thing to keep in mind. But I think if you want, get it. But I would still probably recommend getting an iPhone 8. I think the iPhone 8 is probably one of the better phones you could pick up, in my opinion, for that price tag. So that really pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.